I was recently asked by a company called Stone Cho to review their three pound rock tumbler. Full disclosure, they did give me a small amount of money for this review. I'm gonna talk about it in terms of any other tumbler that I would use though. Let's see what we've got. Four stages of grit, a plastic strainer, a mesh bag with a couple screwdrivers, an extra belt, a brush, and some plastic tumbling media. A bag of what looks to be about two pounds of rocks, a very hefty barrel that looks like it's larger than three pound capacity, a power cord, and a tumbler base. The barrel's a little bit big for this base. You can see it fits really snugly on the shafts there, but let's make sure it works. The power seems to work just fine. I can also change the number of days I want it to run. There are three different speed settings here. I'd recommend the lowest one because faster speeds tend to damage rocks. There's also a pause button, which seems a little unnecessary, but doesn't hurt. Let's look at the grit next. For a three pound tumbler, you're typically using four tablespoons of grit per stage. However, in each of these packages, there's only one to one and a half tablespoons of grit. For most rocks, you'd start stage one off with 6090 grit, which is a coarse grit. But this kit starts off with 220 grit, which is a medium grit. This could work well on rocks that are already a little bit smooth, but may not work well on rocks that are rougher. Step two is 500 grit, I'd usually use 220. Step three is 1200 grit, usually you'd use 500. 5000 should be okay for a final polish, as long as this is aluminum oxide and not silicon carbide, so we're gonna take a look. Yep, that's a fine white powder, that means it's aluminum oxide. This is much better than silicon carbide, which doesn't polish, it only smooths. Let's take a look at the manual next. The only thing that was off about the package contents was the description of the screwdriver, but these two Phillips head screwdrivers did appear to match the screws that are on the machine. All the safety information looked just fine. It does tell you not to put the slurry down the drain, which is important for beginner rock tumblers to know. I like the really clear photos and instructions for operating the machine and managing the tumbler barrel, and the instructions for each stage are also really clear. I like how this cycles guide is set up, but I would never run rocks for less than seven days in each stage. And like I mentioned before, running the rocks at a higher speed can cause a lot of damage. There was no description of what kind of rocks were included in this kit, so I washed them off to see if I could identify them. And it looks like there are four different types. Some red jasper with quartz veins, some mookite, some fancy jasper, and some tiger's eye. This is a great selection for beginner tumblers. These rocks are all around the same hardness level, so they'll tumble well together, and they get a really good polish. My only complaint is that there aren't enough of them. A properly loaded barrel should be two thirds to three quarters full. The rocks included don't quite fill this barrel halfway. To wrap up my review, I'm just gonna list the major pros and the major cons of this rock tumbling kit. Let's start with the pros. The tumbler seems to have good quality components, the kit contains everything you need to get started. It includes a really good selection of rocks. It includes aluminum oxide polish and plastic tumbling media, which help get a really good shine. Lastly, it's got a comprehensive manual that's easy to use. Now for the cons. It doesn't have quite enough grit, rocks, and media for the tumbler size. The barrel's a little bit on the heavy and large size with a really tight fitting lid. It doesn't include coarse grit, which is 6090 grit. And the manual instructs a shorter runtime, which usually doesn't get the best result. Stone Show has offered a 15% discount to my viewers using this discount code here. You can find a link to it on my link tree in my bio. I'll be doing a part two where I actually use this machine and see how it performs.